the name of the piece is Ashling Gal, which means bright vision, and the name of the building is Ashling. Different spelling, but it's still the, that idea of, of a dream or a vision. The idea of the project was that the piece of artwork would be not only for the students that are using the accommodation, but also for the local community. Hopefully to give the students that are arriving into the accommodation a little bit more knowledge about the area and about probably the beauty of the area, you know. Like the first site visit I did with the architects and with people from Clancy Construction, we went up onto the rooftop and we saw the view over the lock. I've never seen a view of the lock like that. And then I would have spent a few weeks going down and photographing a certain spot down in the lock, maybe twice or three times a week for a couple of weeks, specifically taking photos from different angles. And I'd put all those photos together and I'd kind of work off them. The architects, Omani Pike, approached me about doing a mosaic. I really wasn't accustomed to how these mosaics were actually created, so I was very lucky to have experienced ceramicists. Luke Sisk helped me out massively on the project. The panel is majority printed glaze onto porcelain tile. I would have gone through the design process with the client. We would have decided upon the design and then I had to find a way of blowing that design up basically and getting onto tile. One of the architects suggested that we have some hand painted and some printed to give a variation of texture and I think that's really worked out in the piece. Once the design was done that was sent up to the Copper House Studios in Dublin and they scanned it and then that was sent to a company called Digital Ceramics UK. They were able to print out the sections of the piece in I think 560 tiles. A friend of mine, Tony Byrne, he was an integral part in the process as well, so Tony would have cut out the shapes and then they'd be cut in, I suppose, like a jigsaw. There's a girl that's standing in the foreground of the piece and she's looking out into a gaggle of geese that are taking off on their journey. And that idea of that they travel from one side of the world to the other seasonally, and I kind of was inspired by that, thinking of the student accommodation and that this is kind of a second home and that it might not be their original home, but it's a safe place that they can kind of learn and grow and move forward with their own lives. I was very lucky to have been approached by Nito and Omani Pike in terms of kind of freedom for expression through the piece. There's something very special to think that a piece of wall art will last anything up to 100 years or maybe longer.